Good morning to all my awesome followers. I just wanted to mention to you about two awesome things that happened to me in the last week. Two different people showed a, an act of kindness towards me. One of them, I needed new shoes. My, uh, my shoes that I normally wear every single day uh, had come apart during this um, shutdown. And that was very upsetting. And I didn't know if I could get them fixed. There were still good shoes left. But they'd come apart and they need to be repaired. So I went over to Brill's um, in uh, San Bernardino on Highland. It's a shoe store I've been buying shoes at for, oh, I don't know, about maybe 20, 25 years. Quite a while. I have foot spurs, and when they were acting up really bad, I had to go to the doctor because I was in so much pain I couldn't hardly stand it. And uh, she said, well... You need to really get better shoes to wear. And uh, she gave me the address of Brills and Highland because that's what they carry are, are better quality type shoes. Now, they're not fancy shoes like a lot of people talk about. They're shoes that make your feet feel better. But they're a little on the pricey side. Now, this is what the shoes I wear every day look like. I know they don't look exciting, and uh, but, you know, my feet don't hurt. And that's why I love these shoes. And... Dr. Scholes makes a pair of shoes that look exactly, and I'm not exaggerating, look exactly like this, because that's what I was wearing. Uh, because, you know, I do security for a living, and I do a lot of walking. And that's why I got foot spurs, for doing all that walking. And um, this is the brand that it is. And this brand is awesome. Uh, they're pretty expensive. Believe it or not, those shoes were $170, so they're not cheap. But my feet don't hurt. I don't have trouble with my foot spurs. And I had, uh, I would say about three, four years ago, I bought a different pair of shoes to wear every day. Oh, that was a big mistake. The, the doggone foot spurs started acting up. And when they act up, it took me almost, even when I went back to those particular shoes I just showed you, it, it still took almost three weeks for the feet to calm down. So, if you got foot spurs, this is a really good shoe. And I don't know why it works. I just know it does. Uh, that particular brand, and another nice thing about that brand of shoes, uh, you don't have to break them in. And when you put them on the very first day, you'll never get, you know, uh, anything in your feet hurting the back of your heels or anything. They're just perfect shoes. But they are expensive, so I'm not going to say they're not. But if you want a really good, comfortable pair of shoes, that's a good brand. Guy, you, just, you guys got to really try good quality shoes. But let's get back to what the act of kindness was. So I bought these shoes, and, and they didn't have my size. And so um, they had to order them. So they said it would be like two or three weeks. Well, it ended up being two weeks before they came in. But I couldn't believe it last Saturday... The owner of the shoe store called me, and he said, oh, your shoes are in. Oh, I said, can I pick them up on Monday? Because I was having my son over and his family last Saturday for dinner, and I put a post up about it. And he said, oh, don't worry about it. I was going to bring them over if you don't mind. And I said, you're going to deliver them? And he said, yeah. I could not believe that this man, now don't get me wrong, he normally doesn't deliver shoes. This was because of, the, um, of this virus going around. Because they don't want anybody more in their shoe stores than they have to. And well, even when I was there, they only let like one or two people in at a time. And because he's in his 70s, he, he doesn't even work in the store right now because he has some health issues too. So for him, he said it was great. He gets to meet his customers, more personal. And he also doesn't have to be around a lot of people. But when he delivered them, he did have his mask on. So I don't want to say that he came without his mask just to visit, and he didn't stay but just a second to deliver them. But what do you think about that? An owner of a shoe store actually delivered my shoes to my house for I wouldn't have to worry about going out and being out in public. I thought that was so awesome. Now, I have been buying shoes from him for like 25 years, so it isn't like I was just somebody just willy-nilly walked in there either. But I just thought that it was such an awesome kind act of kindness that he didn't have to do. I didn't expect anyone to deliver them. But I want to give him a big shout out, the owner of Brills 
uh, shoe store on Highland in San Bernardino that he took the time out of his life to come and deliver my brand new shoes to my house for me for I wouldn't have to go out and about in public. Awesome, awesome guy. Just love him. Now, my second awesome act of kindness, I went out the other day and I noticed I have a table out in front of my front door and here was some Lysol all-purpose cleaner. Now, my neighbor next door was at the store and she noticed that they had a couple of these because you can't find this stuff still even here. I don't know when we're getting this type of stuff back. And she bought one for her and one for me. Was that not so awesome and an act of kindness? She didn't have to do it. I didn't ask her to do it. She did it because she knew we're all struggling with, with stuff like this. So I just wanted to show you and explain to you two acts of kindness that I got this week. I couldn't believe it. I have so many awesome people have been in my life since all this stuff happened not just my family because you know you think family is going to be there all the time for you but here my neighbor just got it because she saw they finally had some then you see a, an owner of a shoe store that didn't have to deliver me my new shoes but he did because he knew that this would mean he, I wouldn't have to go out does that not sound like awesome awesome people leave me in the comment section or make a, a similar post about act of kindness. Act of kindness, there's so many people out there, that are out there right now during all this troubled time are being extra nice to everybody. When I go to the store, I would say I've only, since all these problems, are, I've only had one person crowd in next to me in two months in line. That's nothing. Everyone is just being so extra nice. When I go to the bank, there's never a long line anymore. They put another person at the uh, window to help get these uh, orders processed quicker. Uh, they make sure everybody stays 10 feet away. I constantly see people at the bank cleaning everything where there's not germs. Uh, it, I think it's a lot of people are really putting extra care into things. Everyone always gives us all this negativity. There, they, no one's mentioning how people are being kinder and sweeter to each other, how they're trying to help each other. And that's true. In my life, I have found multiple cases where people are just trying so hard to be extra, extra nice. So, share your act of kindness with us. Let's start talk, talking about more positivity in our lives that we have been experiencing from other people around us. Well... My channel is for adults only interested in gardening, home decor, cooking, cleaning, anything else that you might find around the house and the yard because that's what grandma does. She does all kinds of things to do with the home and the yard. Bye bye for now. Thank you guys all. If you watched to this minute, kisses to all of you. I appreciate that you watch this video all the way from the beginning to the end. Bye now, until the next video. Here is the address of the Brill Shoe Store in Highland. Please, if you live in the area, go give them a try. They are here for us, and that's an important thing in this day and time. Act of kindness. Don't forget.